Hello everyone, my name is Chirp and welcome to a type of video that I, I usually don't do on my channel but I felt like doing it because it is necessary and I also would like to teach other people on uh, how to downgrade uh, Crisis 1. I recently bought it on Steam because it was on a sale and still is as of right now. It will be until uh, the end of December 1st. So you have it right here. Hold on a sec. Crisis Maximum Edition. Oh wait, no. Actually, you go down here and somewhere around here, you actually have Crisis. Let me check real quick. Where is it? Where the fuck is it, dude? <laughs> I swear to God, it's somewhere around here. There it is. It's literally the last page here. And you have Crisis as well. But uh, yeah, why am I me mentioning this? I'm, ma I'm mentioning this mainly because this game is removed from Steam but has been added back for a while now and you can still buy it until the end of December 1st. It's literally discounted right here. And um, yeah, what problems did I had with uh, did I have with uh, downgrading this game? Well, basically, I followed like the instructions of this speedrun.com thread and it didn't really work as planned. The game kept crashing and all of that. But today I'll show you like a proper way on how to actually downgrade uh, Crisis. This works on both the Steam version and Origin as well. So if you don't get the Steam version, you can buy it at any point uh, on Origin as well. As you can see, I've already installed it on Origin as well. So I'm going to start with uh, mentioning the fact that I've installed the games right now. So I have um uh, you know the origin folder right here and somewhere around here in common i have like the folder of the steam version so these are just fresh installs of the game and uh right here in chrome i have three specific tabs open i'll leave a link into the in the description of this video uh so you can actually download these files because they are necessary except this one mainly this video focuses on how to actually downgrade the game so you have the you have the uh, downgrade archive here you just press download it's a dropbox link and then you have some extra exe files here that you can download to in order to get a game running because if you just download this and replace the files that you have like in your main folders your game will keep crashing at least that happened to me so many times and I didn't know why. So I tried so many things, but uh, in short, you want to download this and this. So yeah, after you uh, download them, you also want to make sure that you have uh, your game folder in front of you right here as well. <clears throat> so crisis, and this is the uh, Steam folder. I mean the Steam version of the game with the folder as well. So uh, what you want to do is basically open up your uh, crisis one 1.1 1 .1 downgrade oh yeah also worth mentioning that after buying crisis on steam downloading it and literally click on, clicking on play uh you know open me up this shitty ass window and you might be wondering to yourself why am i showing this code well uh on this video because mainly because this code is invalid and if i clicked on it's literally going to prompt me to like input a correct code. But this CD key code I got is invalid. I even tried to make like a, you know, a ticket to Steam support and EA support and they didn't help me at all. So just press don't continue. And if you get the same error, don't worry. Uh, I'll actually show you on how to actually run the game and you can run it without any issues. So uh, after you download these, you want to go in your Steam folder of the game and have... Oh shit, I just opened up Shrek 2. <laughs> My fucking bad. I'm very sorry. This is so messy right now. I actually speed... I used to speedrun this game, but don't mind this. Anyways, so you have the uh, Crisis 1.1 downgrade zip. Now, before you actually downgrade, uh, it is also worth mentioning that if you try to launch the game from the EXE after a fresh install, it will either crash or it will give you that error you just saw earlier with the invalid code. So after you uh, download the downgrade zip, you want to click it and you have the crisis folder and in it you have bin 32 and game and you just want to extract these to your, uh, you know, Steam folder of the game, shall we say, and just wait for it to, uh, you know, extract. It will take a few seconds, as you can see, and whoop-de-doo. 
And now you just want to hit replace the files in the destination. So you just want to essentially replace all the files that you have and from the archive into your Steam folder. Now, before you go on, before we go on with the next step, do not launch the game because if you do launch the game, you will get a black screen and eventually a crash. So you'll no longer get that uh, error saying that, oh, you have an invalid code and shit. Uh, you'll just get a black screen for a few seconds. As you can see right here, I'm using display capture, not using game capture or anything else because I do want you guys to see everything. And look at that, the game just crashed just like that. So the next step is to go on this GitHub link and eventually download this zip, which is called C1 Launcher 2.7 build. And after you download it, you want to open it, open it up from your downloads folder. And uh, in here you have bin 32 and bin 34, I mean bin 64. And in those two uh, folders, you just have the XC and something for dedicated server if you do want to play multiplayer and such. And what you want to do now is uh, basically, oh yeah, before I go on, actually, after installing the game from uh, Steam, you will notice that you don't have a bin64 folder. This, is, this, however, is not the case with the origin version of the game, because as you can see, you also have the bin64 folder in here. But if I try to launch the game from bin32 in here, it will just give me the same results as before. It's, a, it's literally a black screen and a crash. But if you launch the game from this particular exe in bin64, it will, uh, you know, <clears throat> the game will run just fine. But the problem is that, you know, <laughs> it's not downgraded. So this video focuses on how to actually downgrade the game from the latest version of Crisis, which in this case, it's 1.1.1.61 or something like that. Uh, to 1.1.1.58 because that's the uh, you know the unpatched version and also you can see the uh, latest version right here in the lower right corner of the main menu so yeah let's close the game and yeah let's go back into the steam folder right here and extract these uh, you know these folders into our steam folder or yeah, the folder with the Steam version of the game. Now, this is all you must do. And if you go back on Steam and you hit play, the game will just, you know, it will run properly, as you can see. It'll also skip the intro cutscene, so you won't see, like, the intro and shit. And as you can see, you can uh, notice that, you know, your version has changed. So make sure that it's, it's this version in particular, 1.1.1.58 or whatever. And yeah that's pretty much it and i know it's not about the it's not related to uh the downgrading uh you know tutorial but for speedrunners it is worth mentioning that you must have your uh objects quality set to low because um if you don't have the set to low you have to do the entire second level which is called recovery and yeah, you just have to set this on load basically. Now I'm no crisis speedrunner, but I just know this for a fact. And you just, you know, set this to low and these settings to medium because this game can be really unstable at times. Because yeah, I just had them on high preset. And yeah, that's about it. And yeah, in this guide, oh yeah, before I go on. So as you can see, the Steam version worked just fine and it downgraded successfully. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, origin version of the game so yeah just do as you did before you just open up the crisis 1.1 downgrade you extract the files like you <clears throat> wait for you know the zip to actually extract the files as well one more second there we go it's the same process as uh, downgrading the uh, steam version of the game so it's not much of a big deal Oh, wait, <laughs> what have I done? No, 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 hold on. I was in the Steam version. Oh my God, this is, this is such a mess. Okay, <laughs> recap, uh, recap. So, you know, you extract, oh wait, no, <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, so you cut this and you go back in here, paste, Never mind. Okay, 
What am I doing? I'm such a troll. Okay, so you paste this into your origin version or origin folder of the game as well. Let me actually down, uh, delete this because we don't need it anymore. And don't launch the game yet. Now you want to open up uh, C1 launcher and you just want to do the same thing as you did as before on, you know, in the Steam folder. And now you can successfully launch, uh, you know, the origin version of the game. You'll have this on your screen if you have uh, Windows Defender, you know, on. But what you want to do essentially is just click here on more info and run anyway. And the game will just run. So, uh, yeah, that's about it as well. <clears throat> And now I'm basically running the origin version of the game, but like, yeah, so origin version of the game and before I ran the uh, Steam version. So as you can see, it downgraded successfully to 1.1.1.58 and uh, not particularly re particularly related to the guy guide. To this guy, god damn it, my English is so terrible today. Uh, but I want to show you guys uh, how to actually switch languages as well because Apparently, Japanese, uh, the Japanese language saves over, I don't know, 20 or 30 seconds in this game overall in the speedrun. So, uh, yeah, I have the Japanese Crisis Drive Google, uh, this Drive Google Drive link here as well. I'll leave it in the description as well. And how do you download this? It's basically simple. So you just click on here and download as well. And you have it in your download folder right here. Now, let me just close this archive real quick open up this one and go back into the uh, Steam folder of the game. And this works on, like I said, it works on the origin version as well. So what you want to do is up, open up this and you have three files like these two and this one, pack and ing, whatever, with Japanese. Well, how do you switch languages, you may wonder. So you go in a uh, game right here. You have this, fol this folder called localized. And you have English and English one pack. What you want to do is basically uh, delete these two specific pack files and then extract these into your localized localized folder. And then after you do that, you just rename them to English, just like that. English again for this pack and make sure to rename this to English uh, one because, yeah, you need a one as well. <laughs> All right. And after you did that, you just basically want to launch the game from anywhere, either Origin or Steam. And you will surprisingly have the uh, game in Japanese. And yeah, that's about it, honestly. So there's nothing much else to say straight to the point as well. Uh, I know this video is quite long. So excuse me if I, uh, you know, <laughs> enlonged it. I don't know if if that's even a term, <laughs> if I made this not like super long and boring as well, I hope I was like straight to the point and all that. So uh, yeah, this is um, how you downgrade crisis and how you switch languages as well. Like I said, I'll provide links of these uh, archives in the description for you to be easier to actually download them and all of that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.